Welcome to EIU, where great students become outstanding speech-language pathologists. My name is Dr. Nicole Mulvey, and I'm the Graduate Coordinator and an Associate Professor in the Department of Communication Disorders and Sciences at EIU. Today I'm going to be showing you around our building. In our 14-month program, students spend four semesters on campus and two semesters of internships in the United States and abroad. While on campus, students receive instruction from faculty that have worked in various aspects of speech-language pathology. Our faculty not only teach, but they also supervise our students while they work through their clinical practicum. To learn more about our facility and our faculty, check out the Faculty Fun Fact Friday series via the link in the description below. In addition to hardworking and awesome faculty, EIU also boasts a state-of-the-art clinic. In this video, I'd like to walk you through the clinic, show off some of our features, and introduce you to some of the people in it. The EIU Speech and Hearing Clinic is located on the second floor of the Human Services Building. Inside are 10 therapy rooms, a classroom, a sensory room, a video observation room, a waiting room, a material center, two audio booths, a sanitation room, a teacher's lounge, and an elevator. Therapy rooms, arguably the most important part of the clinic, are located in a U-shaped hallway. Each therapy room is equipped with tissues, hand wipes, tongue depressors, gloves, hand sanitizer, and anything you need to maintain a sanitary environment. Each therapy room also has a 360-degree camera and microphone so that supervisors and caregivers are able to monitor the clients no matter where they are in the room. There are two larger therapy rooms that also serve as our in-house diagnostic rooms. There is one diagnostic room for children and one diagnostic room for adults. Both rooms are bigger than the other therapy rooms. They are unique from the other therapy rooms in that they have a one-way mirror on one side so that caregivers can sit with faculty during a diagnostic. They also have a second microphone that allows the caregivers and faculty in the adjacent room to listen during a diagnostic. Each therapy room is spacious, wheelchair accessible, and the tables can be easily adjusted to accommodate children and adults of many needs. The sensory room Another integral part of our building has toys and objects to meet a variety of sensory needs. There is a ball pit, a swing, pea pods, a trampoline, wobbly chairs, spinning chairs, bean bags, compression stuffed animals, fidget toys, pillows, bubbles, and much more. This room can be reserved for certain sessions, used to take a sensory break during your sessions, or clinicians can borrow materials for their therapy sessions. We also have a video observation room for caregivers to observe the sessions in real time. Each computer has a pair of headphones to privately listen to the sessions. People get to see all of the progress clients make as well as the strategies our clinicians use. Here is a look into our main office and waiting area. Clients and caregivers can take care of any and all paperwork here with Mrs. McGee and the office graduate assistant. This is where all the documentation magic happens. Clients and caregivers can wait in our waiting area, which is almost always full of siblings playing with Legos or reading books after schools get out. Up next on the tour is the student clinician's room. This is where clinicians hang out between classes and sessions and finish any late night homework that needs to be done. The students have a refrigerator, mailboxes, extra storage, a Nisla snack corner, a spare computer, and tables and chairs that facilitate group work and study sessions. Next up are the offices. The offices are located in one area in our building and they follow a U-shape. It makes it really easy for students and faculty to collaborate and coordinate therapy. 
First up is a GA office, then Mrs. Bergstrom, then another GA office, then Mrs. Sigmund Hernandez, next up Dr. Teller, and Mrs. Tisch, then Dr. Malvi, that's me, then next is the MC, and more on that later, Mrs. Becker, Dr. Thronberg, then Mrs. Drolly, Mr. Watson, Ms. Barkus, another GA office, Mrs. Bunfill, another GA office, Dr. Anthony, and finally, Dr. Ramratten. We also have an office located in Clem in which the Students with Autism Transitional Education Program, or STEP, is housed. STEP is led by Ms. Fay and Mrs. Harvey with the assistance from undergraduate and graduate students. STEP focuses on providing support and skill development to help improve student success in EIU's regular college classes, majors, and campus life. As I mentioned, we also have a materials center, or as we like to call it, the MC. On the left side of the MC has a wide range of assessments for many areas, such as oral motors and feeding, articulation and phonology, literacy, social pragmatics, executive functions, stuttering, receptive expressive language, aphasia, and so much more. We also have resources such as textbooks, flashcards, and manuals to assist in therapy and provide evidence-based practice on the back side. On the right side are all the fun things like board games, puzzles, bubbles, sensory toys, fidgets, blocks, bowling pins, balls, and a great deal more. Almost all of the items in the MC have a QR code, which we use to check things out on the computer. We also have two audio booths, which we use regularly for hearing screenings, central auditory processing evaluations, and full hearing evaluations. Student clinicians get the opportunity to practice all of these and can even use them for clients. We also have a sanitation room where toys can be cleaned as well as materials to clean any room or surface. The teacher's lounge usually hosts professors getting their morning or afternoon coffee, birthdays and potlucks, and it's our podcast studio. Our last official stop on the tour is the classrooms. We have two large classrooms, one in Clem and one in the Human Services Building. We also have a second classroom, nicknamed the Seminar Room, in the Human Services Building that we use for small group instruction or a spare therapy room. This is where our students become clinicians. Having an elevator that is very close to the main office and the therapy rooms is very important. Our building is very accessible for people of different ambulatory needs. The parking lot is located close to the building and has dedicated parking spaces. The doors all have automated switches and the elevator is close and wide. We have a men's and women's restroom as well as two family restrooms to accommodate any of the many families we serve. Thank you for coming along on a tour of the EIU Speech Language Hearing Clinic. Whether you're a prospective high school or undergraduate student, a potential client, or just curious about EIU, hopefully you learned a little bit more about our facilities and our faculty. If you like this video or would like to learn more about EIU, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, or check out some of our other videos. We're also on most podcast platforms where you can check out the EIU CDS podcast. Thanks for joining us today.